period between the two world wars struggled with several political and economic difficulties. On the other hand, cultural politics was formed by Kuno Klebersberg, and the result of the educational reforms of dualism started to show. During these 25 years, Hungarian engineers developed numerous worldwide appreciated technical inventions. These inventions are still considered important parts of our everyday life. The industrial upswing of dualism, the spread of access to education, the growing role of physics in international scientific life, and the cultural and educational politics between the two world wars resulted in great 20th century inventions of Hungarian scientists. First of all, we should mention Leo Szilárd, who participated in creating the nuclear bomb and later on developed a new type of refrigerator alongside Albert Einstein. This invention was inspired by a dreadful tragedy in the newspapers. A family had been suffocated by poisonous gases that derived from the malfunctioning valve of the refrigerator and filtered into the bedroom at night. The two scientists designed a new type of refrigerator to avoid similar accidents. The invention was handed in to the Royal Hungarian Patent Jury on the 5th of December 1929. Because of the noise it made, the refrigerator designed by Einstein and Szilard never went into production. However, the principles of its cooling system are still used in nuclear reactors. By the age of 16, Kármány Tihanyi could already call himself an inventor. At such a young age, he handed in his first patent application and a year later went on to pursue a business career. An Austrian firm bought his new invention, a street lamp, that can be switched on and off remotely without wires. One of the earliest documents of his expertise, creativity and versatility is a notebook containing his inventions dated between 1912 and 1916. As we can see from one of his notes, he started thinking about creating a television during his military years in 1917 and finally found a way to realize it in 1924. He handed in his first patent application for a television on the 20th of March 1926. In the description of the radioscope, he detailed the theory of battery storage and the cathode ray tube television system was built on this idea. This method was also described in the cable, wireless and color image transmission variants as well. The invention already contained all of the basic features of television storage technologies. The Honey arrived in Berlin in June of 1928 and contacted several firms soon after. He signed a contract with the British Air Ministry about the military use of television. During the Second World War, he was working on the building of an acoustic beam projector for the Hungarian government. From the second half of 1943, Dihanyi and his colleagues were continuously monitored and were even arrested in 1944. Although they deliberately delayed finishing the device, accusations regarding their disloyalty could never be proved. However, when Salashi came into power, Dihanyi was forced to go underground. During and after the war, he focused on the possibilities lying within the use of ultrasound technology. He contributed numerous inventions to the field. Janusz Neumann lectured and researched at the University of Princeton in the 1930s. He participated in the secret program related to the first nuclear bomb's production and the theoretical work about it in Los Alamos. At the beginning of his career, he was interested in quantum theory and the foundation of mathematics, set theory and mathematical logic. He defined the axiomatic system of the theory of sets and practically invented game theory alongside Oskar Morgenstern. Nobel Prize winner Albert Sengyörgyi was a doctor and biochemist. He was the first to isolate vitamin C at the beginning of the 1930s and vitamin P in 1936. He also played an important role in the discovery of the citric acid cycle. From 1931 he was doing research in Szeged on request of Klebersberg. In 1937 he won the Nobel Prize. The next year he received the honorary degree of the Sorbonne University. As a scientist of international acclaim, he became an important public figure. Beside research, he was also involved in political matters of the country. When he came to the capital, he frequented casinos and playing rooms, where he regularly met politicians of the era. Being a convinced anti-fascist, the Calais government sent him to Istanbul to negotiate with the English about Hungary pulling out of the war. Negotiations were unsuccessful because the Germans gained information regarding Hungary's plans. As a consequence, Szentgyörgyi went underground when the Germans occupied the country on the 19th of March 1944. 
Adolf Hitler personally gave the order for his arrest, however, he was successfully smuggled out from the Swedish embassy in the last moment and was taken to a territory under Soviet control. <laughs>